Oh, wow, that was good. An instant, an instant match. Um, undead. The dead will rise again. He's got a hundred K. He's won six, lost two. He's got a strength six mummy. He's got four blood ghouls. All right, it's time. Just buy a wizard. Smooth buy a wizard. Highest TV, buys a wizard. There you go. See you later. 170 TV advantage I've got now. Isn't Blood Bowl 2 inducements fair? Still haven't saved a setup for this team, have I? It's pretty suboptimal. We still got the elf back. Do I want to keep them apart so that he's got to spread his mummies, maybe? Maybe that would be good. I don't know. Bring out the one here. Yeah. Yeah, but you can still just try to fight people with, with claw. I mean, that's usually what happens is. What happens is, if you go claw versus claw, you can bench your best players, like, definitely bench your ball carrier, and just um, just try to just go, you just try and fight with what you've got left, you know? Some people, they put their three on the LOS and just put the rest of the team down here, so you only lose three players at the start anyway, and just position around so that they've got to make a GFI blitz or whatever, or they've got to make their first entry into your territory if you just keep all your guys over here. There's lots of ways you can fight claw upon mirrors. Um, and just make the first half a bit of give up the score completely but then when you get those seven call pom hits of your own that can turn the tide and then you can score quick and try to win 2-1 stuff like that there's lots that can happen with call pom but as um, Bleeding Hippie said he's got two stuns and two kills with LOS block and blitzes Woodies versus Chaos Team and that can happen isn't it? that's why that's basically why um, claw pom can never be completely overpowered because any team can bash randomly, obviously not to the same extent, but but they can actually bash, but not with the same consistency. But even then, Clawpom is still inconsistent, so... Look at all my matches against fucking, what's he called, um, Ichin Masak, you know, even though he's even though he's a good player, he outblocked me, he outcast me with Necro every time we played. Which is outrageous when you think of that I had Claw Pommers and Claw Mighty Blow, but it's just not guaranteed. Whereas Skaven are guaranteed to be Movement 9 and Agility 4, although obviously Agility 4 can, fa can fail and stuff like that, you know, and GFIs can fail and what have you. At least they're guaranteed to be Movement 9. Whereas Claw Pom is not guaranteed to produce cars. It would be a lot better skill if it was just guaranteed to cause one Kaz, you know, during the course of the game or whatever, I don't know. Or if every if every defender down the got was a stun, it would basically be more powerful. But it wouldn't be as bad for the game, if you like, because people wouldn't feel robbed out of games like the Alba Corpum as it is, isn't it? It can make for ridiculously unfair games. Where people feel like they've got no chance whatsoever. And all of their players die. Norsemen's. They're not that bad, are they? Good fireball here, but he's he's got an anti fireball formation, but I could still fireball these four. Blitz him. 
block one of them. I just don't have any guard, do I? So it makes the fireball not so good. Could fireball these four, though. Or these, just these three. If he goes down... If he goes down, sounds great. If he goes down, it's pretty great. I guess I'm not in a rush, am I? More chance of succeeding. And also then his guard is... He's already in there, isn't he? Could minus 2D here. It's not so bad odds. 70%, isn't it, in fact? Of course. Yes, that's true. The easiest way to lose somebody who isn't even playing well is just having them cast the fuck out of you for no reason. Yeah, exactly. And Clawpon can certainly do that. Oh yeah, true, but then that's not really blood balling though, is it bleeding hippie like that's um that's just limitations of online interface of blood ball, but it's not actually a blood ball play, is it to miss click? So I don't I don't like to count that. Like, even though obviously we are playing a digital game and misclicks are part of it, like, I would say misclicks are part of playing, you know, like, let's say, Overwatch, because a good player wouldn't misclick. Like, that's, it's all about clicks, isn't it? But Blood Bowl, to me, isn't about clicking in the right place. It's about playing Blood Bowl on tabletop with little metal men. That was, that was pretty unlucky, though, I think, doing that film at minus 2D there. Because I was going to get 2D by the the zombie anyway to free up the mummy if he wanted to free up the mummy. So I figured. Even a push is good, isn't it, against mummies? Because it means they're not they're not punching you, and um, and they're only movement three if they get knocked down. Twenty five percent to knock him down, but good odds to push him back. Just want a wizard. Two ghouls. This was a bit bad, I guess, giving up this 2D here. But he has got blotch, hasn't he? So.
All my players are tied up. Oh, I don't. It feels like it would be a bad wizard if I wizarded. Wizarded. But on the other hand. I want to use my wizard. I guess I shouldn't, should I? In fact, he's got friends who makes that block. No one knew it was appealing. And no block. He got remixed. Hey. Oh god, could you imagine if he'd quartered? That would have been the best block and ne never taken ever then. So he might burst through here a little bit, but then he can get fireball for sure. I'm sad that I haven't had the chance to foul a ghoul yet. But he's playing around the wizard quite well, isn't he? He's not a bad player. At all. the wrong push, I think he should have pushed him into the, uh, into the strength 6 mummy, but he gets his fucking KO. Oh, this guy's made two fucking... No, no, he made a 2D on him and a 1D on him. Frick. Frick. Right, I don't want to use the wizard. 
it yet. So, wow. Block him first. Pretty annoying, I would have taken a push there just to be able to 2D with the um, oath. So, dodging out gives a 2D on his guy over here, which is kind of useful, isn't it? Yeah, Green Spartan Snow Toad um, was against Snow Toad and he disconnected. Looking like Wizard next turn anyway now, I think. Is he going to hand off? Interesting. Bolt in next turn, though. Or maybe just threat, make him score turn five. I'm scoring turn five isn't the worst thing in the world, is it? Four turns to score with whiz support. I just rather. Obviously with a wizard I'd rather just uh, end the half 1-0. You can block him down and then there's three guys to blitz and recover and stuff. Oh, this is three down.
Good, good. Six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you could go there. I mean, it's cheeky block. No, you can't. You'd have to stand up first. That's okay. Good wizard, good old fair cyanide. Fair cyanide given a match between letting a match between two evenly matched teams, letting one side have a wizard. Oh wow, he survived the 3 dB. Beautiful. Ghouls. Maybe stomp one with him. But then my arm has held up pretty well, actually, hasn't it, against the uh, mummies? He's got a chance. Got a chance of a cheeky one day. Use a one directioner. Whoa, no, don't go. Don't use the auto path, I think. <laughs> He's got, what he should do is declare the blitz first and then path this one at a time because obviously if he doesn't use dodge, it's, he's better off making a second dodge, isn't he? So I think he's definitely misplayed here. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. Brutal. Brutal. Um, there's a gaping hole here now, isn't there? I can just block this guy, but if I blitz him, then I can assist there and move him up as well. So. So he's getting there for the surf.
Gotta go here, maybe? Not really. One D number two. Keep his guard out of action. Foul him with plus one. Or just scream. Or no no, minus three. I can't minus three do you? I can't re-roll this though, can I? Pretty good. Didn't really need a full cage there, but then kind of did because he's got his, his ghouls are very mobile, aren't they? And he still does have three. But now this guy's got a GFI to hit. going on right now thanks to having a free wizard. DP. And he stopped me breaking back this way. So he's going to be able to squeeze me with the mummies. Just hope he fills this dodge. Got free wiz just by, um, well, free in terms of paying team value for it. Because thanks to Cyanide's awful implementation of inducements. Which people on the, um, on the Cyanide forum were quite happy about. Saying that it introduced strategy. And I'm like, me and Sage were like, no, it's just fucking stupid. And then people are like, no, the strategy. And really, there's no strategy, is there? It's just, it's just completely fucking busted. I'd rather, I'd rather make this one, wouldn't I? See you later. 
Alligator. Can't three words by hacking the French government and put sign on holiday time. <clears throat> Bracketing a strength four frenzy like that isn't isn't so effective, is it? See you later. <laughs> Fuckhead mummies. <laughs> yes, umbrellas, that is 1k TV chaos are pretty horrible. The dice are going to make. It's easier for the dice to make unwinnable, isn't it, basically? Because you've got no skills. And unlike lizard men, you don't have an army of strength for to back it up. Gonna slam in hard now though with the mummies unfortunately. Maybe I should have left the werewolf on them. I like that he's got this astro granite, yet he's the one making GFIs all the time. I think Astro Granite is not so good with Undead because obviously mummies want to make GFIs from time to time and zombies do sometimes. Good thing is I can potato with um, Blodge, can't I? Yeah, it's. It, it almost is an army because Holmes is actually powerful. It's why I favour Rookie Chaos over Rookie Bretts. Because having a lot of strength for is handy, especially at low TV, not so much at the high TV. It's not, not such a factor then. Surf's up, bitch. Depending on where this guy goes. Yeah, Surf's still up, I think. He hasn't got guard, has he? It's crucial, though, his lack of guard. Oh, he's got two extra players, though. Fuck. I guess Surf isn't on. No. No, not anymore. Well, there might be a surf here still. First things first, he blocks in. I could do this, or I could blitz here. No, oh, but it doesn't get far enough across. So I want, I want to do this jump up one dB. All right. Um, I can't actually re-roll it then. Kind of. 
him blocking is better than him dodging. Cheeky 1D. Bosh, see you later. Dickhead. Should just end the turn automatically, shouldn't it, when you've activated all of your players? Never seen a jump up fail. Yeah, um, yeah, so basically, if, you, if you're just making a move, or like a blitz or whatever, you don't need to roll for it. It's only if you make a block action that you've got a you make an agility roll with a plus two. So for agility three men's it's a two plus. And for agility two guys it's a three plus. So I still give jump up to agility. Like I, I give um, jump up to noble warriors. Three plus for a quote on block is fine, isn't it? A lot of the time and, and troll slayers. I'll, I'll, go, I'll take cheeky, cheeky pom blocks and stuff with them. Pretty good streak screen in the end, wasn't it? Making those couple of dodges. Well, a, two dodges and a minus two DB. Worked out pretty good. I guess I could have dodged with the first one to get more players there. Terrible move if he goes for that. Country is rooted pile on, I've got no idea. Oh, good camera work. All right, so that's brilliant. He's actually, he's actually completely fucked himself there because now it's, uh, it's easy, isn't it? I can just. Um, where do you want to sidestep? No, oh, no, he can sidestep to there and then sidestep to there. All right then. So that was my bad. I should have blocked first. For some reason, I thought he could, he couldn't do what he's about to do right now. I guess I'm just stupid. All right. I could have surfed him, couldn't I? That was. Could have just surfed his sidestepper. Just fucking horrible. For some reason, I just thought I was going to surf him anyway. I didn't. <laughs> I just thought I was going to surf him. <laughs> I just didn't realize if I blocked him, got a push, I would have surfed him. Yeah, to be fair, he's played well, this guy. I would probably have been a draw if, I'd, um, if I didn't have the wizard. Maybe. Maybe not. I think he'd... But then he was playing differently because I had the wizard. So it's hard to say, isn't it, what would have happened. Because um, if, he, if I didn't have the threat of the wizard, he might have stalled out the half. But I think he wasn't going to stall out the half due to the threat of the wizard. But, um... So it's hard to say that I would have, I would have won. If I didn't have a wizard. No, oh, yeah, I guess I should change the title to Pro Tips. But um, the thing, the reason I haven't shown it is because I feel like I can't really give Pro Tips with Norse so much. Um, oh, you're just saying that because I didn't surf the guy. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it. I'm a bit slow. So I got there in the end. Yeah, that was. That was a really bad move. Totally should have served. That was, I don't know what went on in my in my head there. 
Mr. Sir. Kanor looks like he's the king of surfing <laughs> right now. He's on 18. I could put this guy here so that if there's a quick snap, I can surf him. Quick snap. I'm so good at this game. Oh, I'm so good. I guess I should have set them up a little bit better as well in case of the quick snap, but he goes and then he just serves him. I should have set him up on the line as well, shouldn't I? So I didn't have need to activate him. I could move him in first and then move somebody else up to assist. Which means that he can block him, then he can move around. So this is all still okay. Fucking god. What a pure dickhead. I got the push as well. Alright, at least I powered him. He would not have been surfed. Holy fucking shit. That was funny, wasn't it? horrendous that was actually just fucking horrendous so bad <laughs> I can't believe it I'd set up planning on a quick snap got the quick snap and then just move my guy in the wrong place fucking hell the good thing is I can score at any time now can't I so I um... I can go a bit of a quick touchdown now if I want.
Yeah, that is a pro tip, El Matt, though. Yep, score touchdowns with who you want your levels on. Not always, though, because sometimes you've just got to... Like, you know, it's a bludger. Obviously, I wanted to score with him, but... Um, this guy's got bludge, hasn't he? So he's going to be better. away for a one day. Kinda wish I had a tackler right now. Come on man. If you got a push anywhere it would have been terrible for him. If you pushed him to here then I'm just blocking him and then surfing him. If he pushes me to here I get to block his mummy down. But instead he gets his fucking one in three. This is fucking one in three knockdown, little bastard. Shit, we're gonna have to GFI. first. Cheeky one day. Don't mind if a Lionel dies. I should have probably fouled in the first half. No one cares about Secret League. Yeah, I, I can't get away with Secret League. To be honest. You don't have to try to beat them at their own. <laughs> yeah, I think Stunty League is much better. Do you know what I mean? Like, I like Garion, but I just think it's Stunty League is more Blood Bowl, even though it's not Blood Bowl. It's more Blood Bowl than Secret League is. Get some fouls in now. Maybe get a cheeky handoff to a berserker, or I guess it's more crucial to get Weeksy the ball, isn't it? Pretty crucial to get Weeksy the ball. And he's got three ghouls though, so he get rid of the ghouls first. Secret League is a is a thing on Fumble. Basically, loads of crazy teams that Gary and made um, that like. I just think they're crap. T 
TBH. Hitting a Bludgy McBludgerson. Of course, he gets the power. And I was going to say he can't even follow up, but he did. I don't know why. I don't know why he followed up, but he followed up. One dice, sir. To be fair, they only spent a decade on it. I guess this one's sewn up, isn't it? I mean, I should. This guy could get surf. Probably shouldn't have let that be possible. And maybe shouldn't have made a dodge away there. But I wanted to dodge away and then dodge away and foul. It's like low odds, but I just wanted to do it because I thought it would be fun. To be fair, the Norse have stood up very well at the mummies this game. <laughs> Would it be better if it was better? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good old frustration reroll. Well, you can't blame them for that, can you, Elmer? <laughs> That's what it's like now, isn't it? It doesn't matter how much you pay for a game. It's you don't get anything unless um unless it's DLC. You pay your forty quid for a game and then you've got to pay for all the DLCs to have 
a good game essentially. Gonna make a GFI, this is a pretty bad play. Completely unnecessary GFI. I don't want to go for this fucking handle. Well, he's not even fucking screened. Oh, what the fuck. And I've gone for the handoff still. Alright, I made it. Wow. Really bad. Job, I'm the dice rolling king in this game. <laughs> Can't go wrong, can you, when you don't fail dice rolls? Better to dodge with him, isn't it? Well, I'm not the dice rolling king of Blood Bowl, but of this game, I've been a dice rolling. This particular match of Blood Bowl, I've been a dice rolling god. GFI. Stun. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Pretty funny. Yep, the good old Norse elves. Pretty much not enough time for him to score and turn me over again now. Like if I score, then he scores in two, then turns me over and scores in two, pretty unlikely. Let's get this touchdown on Wixie. And I'll have two block ulfs, which will be, God, be pretty good. It's funny how bad they are not having block, even though you're the only team that starts with nine block outside of dwarves. And it just seems terrible that they haven't got done, they haven't got block. If he's seven on Greenwich, you'd GFI and dead. I wouldn't have minded. You know, I've got I've got plenty of players. It's no problem, is it? Oh, actually, I guess I've just spent all my money on this wizard. So, maybe I should have cared a little bit. Is he going to go for the minus 2D blitz? It's not that bad odds, seeing as he's got block, is it? 1 in 4. I still want to make the GFI to do the handoff, knowing that I had to make these dodges afterwards. Well, this one particular dodge and GFI. He's got two one in fours as well, hasn't he? He's got the reward, so he's actually pretty decent odds to pop it here. And get a favourable scatter. I really should have made the GFI against the before I off. Oh well. No, he's not doing it. Good. Good, he's making an irrelevant move instead. Phew. Phew. Right, 
maybe I can actually not be an idiot this time and actually surf his sidestepper. Oh, it depends if he powers me. Now I get the surface side stuff. Good. Where would you like to go to, buddy? Mmm, good call. Oh, the crowd. That's where you'd like to go. Oh, yeah. I could have frenzy scored, yeah. I'd rather I'd rather use the block. Oops. Oh yeah. So now it's now it's all right, isn't it? Because even if he scores in two. There's no way he's, he's turning me over and winning. So I can do a kind of canal like defense here. With strength ball on the wings. Quite a polite chap, isn't he? I'd be fucking fuming if I was him, the fact that I was 20 TV down and my opponent bought a fucking wizard. For no, for no, no TV cost. It's disgusting. I really hate it. I mean, I, I can see the point of people like saying, well, you could have just been matched 130 TV down. But then you'd get inducements, wouldn't you? So it's like, it's just, it's horrendous. It's completely horrendous. PD. Guess just go there and, um, stop the, um, Stop the mummy beats a little bit. It's total horseshit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. TV plus matches you 400 down, then they pay cash a wizard. Yeah, of course. It's just stupid. It's it's outrageous. I think the worst, though, is probably being 40 TV down. Because at least if you're 400, you're getting a wizard to narrow the gap. They're just petting in a wizard to, um, to even the scores a little bit. I think it's, it's horrific when you could have just had an even match. And like an actual close, interesting match. And it's destroyed by somebody getting a wizard. Whereas at least if you found it down, you're probably getting fucked anyway, aren't you? So <laughs> the fact that they're, they're petting in a wizard just means you get fucked harder. But um, when it just stops being an even game, I think that's the worst. It, the game actually does its job of giving you a fair match. And then someone's like, nah. I, the TV Plus is a terrible idea anyway.
But I think I think unlimited wizards is actually fine because I hate being 450 TV down. And if you had three wizards, you might become favourite, or 300 TV down, you might become favourite. But still, at least, at least it's okay, isn't it? And like the the bank rule's terrible, but at least with the way the sh horrendous petty cash doesn't work, um, at least it does something. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Sam Davies. I mean, I would... Oh, brilliant. One guy dies. Next turn. Oh, I only missed next turn. Yeah, and then someone says that was his strategy. To, and it's like... You wouldn't have a lion. Um, that's pretty good. Yeah, someone said it was his strategy, and it's like... I don't blame him for doing it, because obviously it's what anyone would do if they could, but he might have got 150k winnings, and you might have got 140k winnings. So it's not like you had the choice. It is actually going well, yeah, Squirrel Dude, um, because I petty, cast, I petty cash in a wizard to make it completely unfair. I was 20 TV up, and then I became 170 TV up, and he got no inducements. I could I could surf this mummy, but it would take everything to do it, wouldn't it? There's my dirty player. What's he doing all the way over there? Just gonna have to like make two GFIs to fall. It'll be worth it though. Am I not even in range? No, no, I'm too too cheap, guys. Told my gold's worth it. Oh, region doesn't matter, darling. Oh, screw dude. Fixed gold would matter. Darling. And he did not have thick skull, so there you go. Get wrecked, you piece of shit. Yeah, region doesn't matter for fouling, does it? I mean, that's why I'm mostly only fouling the second, in the second half, because um, then your KO equals like, because you get cast, don't you? If you get sent off, you get cast. But second half, a KO is a cast, so that's why I, I realistic mostly I only yeah, fixed score wouldn't have mattered. I know that, I know that, but it would matter to me fouling the decision to foul. An AV9 regen is not as bad as fouling an AV9 thick skull, in my opinion, because you're just looking. I'm usually only foul second half, um, because then a KO is as good as the Kaz that you suffer if you get sent off, isn't it? It's only obviously if you've got 13 players and stuff, then you can go for a few frivolous, dirty players, and if you've got a gut runner or whatever, you know. You've got to foul gut runners and stuff when you've got 13 players and two dirty players. Gotta get them fouls in. Might score here, but so what? No. Hey.
always playing it. No. No. Not always. If you've got dirty player, yeah. If you've got dirty player and if you've got loads of assists, then it can be good. Right, let's get the safety. Get the safety back there. And another safety. Cheeky dodge, come on. Oh yeah. Minus three. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I forgot he was I forgot he was strength six. But still minus three probably wasn't even that bad. TBH. TBH fans. It's going to be hard for him to potato a score here, isn't it? Maybe I shouldn't have hit the mummy down minus three times. <laughs> yeah, minus two would have been a knockdown, yeah. It's not bad odds. It's really not bad odds. Minus two being a, a movement three guy as well. Who hasn't got block with a guy with block in. Ain't bad. Better odds than dodging away. And then if you push him away, he's not hitting you with blasting you with them with mighty blow. And obviously you've got a decent chance of knocking him down. And then he's got to spend all three points of movement to stand back up. So I, I think mummies get minus two lead a lot more than any any big guy basically. Oh, good. Fuck you. <laughs> I was just thinking, I wonder if it's better to actually... Um... No, I can't get him away anyway. I wonder if it's better just to go for the blitz with him rather than getting him getting the marker out first, but I guess it worked okay. funny
Minus two. Oh yeah. Might get to go for the frivolous skill up here. <laughs> Sweet. <clears throat> wow, I've been so lucky this game. So lucky. Pretty, he was pretty much fucked here, wasn't he? I had a cheaty whiz, and I just made every every dice roll in the world. Yeah, you could go wrestle frenzy strip jokes. Um, so, yeah. You could go wrestle frenzy. Though I think there is, there is a bug with, um, with wrestle and juggernaut and frenzy actually. So I'm pretty sure if you ask um, Shawnee or Sam Davies. One of them was um one of them has experienced some kind of bullshit with jugs and stuff. Definitely. Jugs and wrestle or something like this. Pro pro or two heads though isn't is better just better squirrel dude because then you could have uh, was that fixed? Um, I don't know. It's the thing is bleeding hippie. The guy who um, ah, oh, there you go. Sean, he knows. <laughs> you couldn't wrestle on the blitz and he died. <laughs> um, so I get around the shiny private. The thing is, the guy who runs OFL has has got some horrible shit going on in his private life. So he's not really mot like obviously he's not motivated at all to sort out the OFL shit. So it's just going to be when he gets around to it, so um, there's no timetable on it whatsoever. But I will get to roll. I could get, I could heal one of my injured players, which would be my minus A of Eid guy, which would be then turn him into a good bull centaur. Um, and I could get like a mutation or regen or hypnotic gaze on a run, I think on a random player. Um, a random player could get a leader or something, and uh, I could get a free rookie and stuff like this. It's they're not ridiculously powerful apart from hypnotic gaze potentially, and I guess a, a claw, a claw on a tense on a bull centaur would be pretty good. Um, so I only got the MVP. Oh, that was a different player. All right, so I got two level ups. He did help Brahma break me, but I mean, you would have thought with all of his... Oh God, I made 72 blocks. All right, so it's not surprising I made a lot of... Um, I made 72 blocks, and I got six armor breaks. So actually, and some of those were foul. So actually, I was very bad at rolling armor against him. Um, but it felt like all of the rolls that I made were. So I can't complain about that. Oh, so I could take dodge. It's actually that's kind of tempting because a blood jolt would be pretty good, wouldn't it? This dude can go show hands. And this dude could go dirty player, and then I could just get rid of 
the one who's missed next game. Or just a couple of fenders. Fend is kind of annoying, isn't it? And with three fenders, that could be the... Why did I think someone was on 12? Oh, he'd already, he already had a level, right? So I could get a second fender. And um, he could go dodge. I don't know. No, Hypnogaze is obviously not good on Agility 3 or Agility 2, but in terms of, you know, a Wood Elf team could win win the league and then get Hypnotic Gaze. So, you know, I didn't mean for my team, but for, um, for like, an Elf team that could just have an Agility 5 player and then he could just get Hypnotic Gaze on him. That would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? Um... <laughs> Pulled the plug. <laughs> oh, I don't know. So, um, right. Quarter past five. So that's the last of the Blood Bowl anyway, and I'll think about what to take. Probably is another Fend here, and I might just take Block there. I might not go with the dodge. I'll see what BJ Chandras does. But if we look at the leaderboard now, this might be the top Norse team. Let's play Norse. Yes, I'm above on thin ice. So it's the top Norse team. So that is objective completed. I have had the best Chaos team and the best Norse team on the new ladder. So overall I've had six of the six of the twelve teams I've been top of the ladder with. So that's pretty good. So I don't need to um I don't need to play those Norse anymore for a little bit now. We can sit on six and oh as the as the king of the Norse.